Okay. Three, four, they only have one five, shot in Hamilton. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Draw! Oh, oh, he got me with one. How's it going, guys? My name is Mark, and I just started playing Gale Soft. All right, well, I didn't just start. Uh, I've been playing for about a couple months now, but compared to other people or other players, um, to them, that would be just starting. Uh, I started with uh, using my friend's gun, and after that, I ended up buying it off of him, and the gun is actually amazing. Uh, I still have my kit from the military, so I end up customizing that gun already or not customizing but putting accessories on the gun and i like it but this video is about homemade face mask all right i made both of these and the reason why i made face masks or both of these face masks is because i didn't want to spend like 20 bucks on a face mask and then not liking it so i end up making one that i know i'm gonna like and i already like and seeing how it is and i made this one because one i thought it was cool two i didn't want to wear a baseball cap or you know i didn't want to have like my back exposed or something all right but i made this one because one i thought it was cool and when you're playing gear soft i found out uh the more cool it looks the more people like like it i guess i don't know the more cool it looks the more badass you look all right so this one right here i made this one from uh, five millimeter foam and set not seven but two millimeter foam and it comes out to be five millimeters also the mesh in the middle so you can hear it oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah sounds like it's on you know that bread that is nice and crispy you just yeah but um i made this one and the way i made it was i went online i found a template for a face mask from I forgot what it's, it is, but I'm pretty sure you can go on YouTube and look up face mask, how to make a face mask, or how to make a foam mask. But this is all foam, and what I end up doing, I end up making a template for the mask. I made two, t made two of them, one with the five millimeter and the other one with the two millimeter. The reason why I did that is so I can squish the mesh between them, so it can actually stay in place. And while I used it, uh, I used, I tested out. So I tested both of these out already, all right? I tested both of them, and they work fine. They they didn't let any BBs get past. It was fine. I actually went out and did a test run with this one last weekend at Operation Christmas and in Spring, Texas at Balls and Bruises. That's the name of the field is called Balls and Bruises, which I like it. It's out. It's an outside uh, field. Um, it's actually like, well, I would say maybe uh, a football field long. Pretty, pretty good size. Pretty good size. Uh, it had a castle. It had a moat, as in like one side, one side of the field. Uh, the base actually had a moat around it. You know, like the old school, like. There's a river going around with a drawbridge and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. And then the other side was the castle. And the castle was great because we had to storm the castle and take Santa Claus back. But um, I actually did a test run with this one over there. And people liked it. People thought it was cool. People thought it was a, a good idea. Not a good idea, but like a, it was a, a awesome idea that I made my own face mask. Um... It got the job done. It protected my face. It did what it needed to do. Um, one thing I didn't like about this is that it doesn't come from my whole face because that means I have to have goggles and I have to have a, a baseball cap to protect everything and like taking everything off, taking it, putting everything back on between games. Um, kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm lazy, but like that sounds like a lazy thing to say. But I end up making this one, <laughs> and this one is all 10 millimeter foam, and the mesh is on the inside, and there's actually foam on the inside covering it up, making uh, actual like making it stay in place. Um, this is actually a full helmet, 
and I'm gonna test this out at the field here in Bryan, Texas. And the field is called Zooms. Um, it's they got five different fields. Um, I would say all of them, maybe half of a football field. Yeah, it's probably half of a football field. Most of the fields. Uh, there is one field that's. I would say it's a football field size field. Uh, it also is in the woods, so it's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna test this out at Zooms. Um, well, before I test it out, I'm gonna make slits right here in the middle, so I can like air can come out. And but I'm gonna make it small enough to where BBs don't go through. And I may just add a cloth on the inside so that it doesn't go through. But other than that, I'm probably gonna like I'm probably gonna cut slits on the inside right there. Um, I like it. I thought it was cool, you know, and there I saw if you, if it doesn't look cool, it probably not gonna work. But most of the time, you know, I like it. It, it reminds me of Agent Venom. Not Asian Venom, but Agent Venom. Um, best anti-hero I can think of because it's my favorite anti-hero. Um, if you don't know Agent Venom, a little backstory. He's uh, Flash Thompson who went to the military and the government gave him the symbiote. Oh, also he lost his legs. So, yeah, it's a good comic book story to go over, and I would recommend to go to go uh, read it or watch it. It's on YouTube, probably. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna test this out. Uh, the template I also found it on YouTube, and I want to say it's based off of a uh, common writer. Yeah, common writer. Uh, I looked it up. I found the template. It works great. Uh, quick, easy. I probably made it like an hour to two hours probably with sanding everything down. But um, yeah, like I can't wait to test this out. I'm going to put footage of me using this one this weekend online later. Um, I'm going to, I may go get a GoPro mount or I may just get, get a rig, a uh, GoPro to my uh, combat machine. But you know what? whatever um can't wait to put that out can't wait to test it out um i'll let you know later on but um this is probably gonna be good um if y'all want let me know if y'all want me to show you how to make it um if y'all do want me to show you how to make it just tell me if y'all don't want me to show you how to make it um tell me <laughs> But yeah, like I can't wait to just show y'all how this looks and how it, well, not, not how it looks, but how it feels and how it works under uh, under fire. So I can't wait to go out and shoot some people legally with BBs, you know, not actual weapons. But yeah, uh, can't wait. You have a good one.